Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Simple Reset Vehicle and Equipment Flipper. If you haven't heard of this mod, you're really going to like this one. You'll probably end up using it yourself. And uh, yeah, you're in for a real treat. So uh, what we're going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod. We're going to go over and test it out. But first I'm going to do a quick channel update with you guys before we get started. Just to let you know what's going on with the channel. So let's get started. Okay, for a quick channel update, we're over on my YouTube homepage. Now, if you come over here to find mods, guys, before I had them all up, done up in one playlist, I had all my Farming Simulator mods back-to-back -back all in a list here. But some of them were getting kind of hard to find. I have over 100 of them in there now. And I've broken them up into 10 different categories for you guys to find them much, much easier now. Took me a little while to do, but I know you guys will appreciate that because it's easier to find mods now. So when you come over here, the first one's going to be this one with all the mods. Then we're going to have map reviews. All my map reviews for Farming Simulator 17. All my placeable mod reviews. Vehicle mod reviews. These are all playlists. Harvester mod reviews. Baylor mod reviews. Forestry reviews. Tipper tanker and trailer reviews. Cedar and fertilizer reviews. And... We do have two more, but I can't fit them here. We have this and that for a uh, category. That's just like the farming tablet and stuff that I can't really categorize. And you'll notice some are in more than one category. That's just because there's probably two mods in there. One for one category, one for the other. So I don't want anybody to miss that. But if you can't find the playlist you're looking for, what you're going to want to do is come to the top of the page here and click on playlists. And they'll all be up top here. So just scroll down, look for the playlist you're looking for, click on it, and Time. there they all are. There never seems row. to be enough. So, so what if we there you go, less. guys. So let's get Easier back to the review. Okay, guys, so let's test this mod out. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Jeremy. Thank you so much, Jeremy. He introduced me to this mod today, and it kind of saved my neck because of that review I had to take down. This is short and sweet. It's gonna be a mod everybody loves and now I can bring it to you because of his help. So thank you so much for that and let's get started. And what in the heck happened here? Well guys, I don't think you'll ever run into this situation unless you purposely do it like I did. <laughs> Cause I'm just gonna demonstrate how to flip these back over. I'm surprised somebody hasn't thought of this mod a while ago, but it's so handy guys, check this out. So what you're going to want to do when this happens, instead of having somebody crane into the side of you to knock you back up your, on your wheels or reset this and lose your product, you can jump on inside. Let me clear the screen here. Hold in your left shift key and press backspace. Boom! Right back up on the wheels. How about that? Isn't that fantastic? I love it. Now there's something else you should know about this, guys. So to flip a vehicle over, you hold in left shift and you hit the backspace key but if it's a very tall vehicle hold left shift plus backspace for a reset that's increasing in height every 1.5 seconds especially useful for maps where the actual ground is below the object you drive on so basically if it's a tall like crane type vehicle just hold in the shift button and the backspace button for a few extra seconds then let it go so i, I think it determines on how big the vehicle is but for most, all you'll have to do is just hold in the left shift and just tap backspace. So let's try this again. This is fantastic. I'm so using this on my map because we run into this problem with uh, log trailers all the time. So left shift, backspace, boom. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. So I'm so glad he brought this to my attention. It's a direct download from Mod Hub, or from Mod Hub too. So you'll be glad to know that. Hold in left shift, backspace, boom. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna test out one more here and you guys get the gist. You don't, when you install this, you don't have to buy it from the shop or anything. It's already ready to go. You don't have to unpack it. And because it's a direct download from Mod Hub, it'll put it right on in your mods folder for you. So very nice. Hold in left shift, backspace. How great is that? I'm just amazed by this. Hold in left shift, backspace, boom. That is so handy, guys. Really, really like that. And I'm sure you guys will appreciate that too if you haven't heard of it already. So it's called a simple reset, but I'm calling it a vehicle and equipment flipper. File size is a very small 18 kilobytes. 
uh, additional information and link can be found down below in the description guys I hope you enjoyed this review I really apologize about the map earlier I will tell you what map that was though just as soon as I find my notes here it was the broad acre 16x Australian map it was a beautiful map too guys 16x map it was the biggest map I reviewed to date and it was a huge two gigabytes but like I said I had to take it down so I do apologize but that's the way it goes I guess so i hope you enjoyed today's review if you did maybe you can leave a like on your way out and if you're new to the channel guys why don't you go ahead and click on nick right there in the middle of your screen and i'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel it would really really help out guys so until next time take care and i will see you all in the next one